I'm Joe. I'm John T. We are collectively one bit and we're in our studio in Prince Park. I got into music really early on. Uh, I think at four, I got in a really little cello. So I'd started playing that, playing piano, singing, just the, the classic sort of classical route. And then, yeah, I think just naturally fell into wanting to do more, came into finding more about electronic music, dance music, ended up meeting Joe at Lipper up in Liverpool. Um, which really sort of just opened her eyes, well, my eyes to what I could do with it. I always previously thought I'd be a music teacher, but then that was the idea of being able to create music, record music, produce music. We work across quite a broad range of things, like our arts project is more electronic, dance music focused, but then we do a lot of producing and songwriting for other people where it might be more acoustic or soul sort of stuff. And then we also do TV music where the briefs can be crazy like all over the place genre wise I guess like a lot of creation is making mistakes and so many times like the mistakes that you make actually end up staying in and it's all about happy accidents and I don't know someone could just like hit a note on a piano and you're like whoa I wasn't expecting that but that's actually really cool with what just happened or yeah it's a, there's, there's so many times where mistakes are brilliant we've got two two rooms here we've got the this main room and then we've got another um, sort of edit suite and we normally spend most of our time in here writing but then as soon because obviously there's two of us as soon as there's ideas that we like that we're working on or there's maybe some edits to do it's really useful for us to have two spaces. The main thing we're working on at the moment is us as an artist as one bit so we, we put out a single pretty recently and we're working on the next one and then we're also doing lots of songwriting and collaborating with other artists writing for their projects. Then we've got a whole like another side to what we do as well with the advert recording bespoke composition side can't even remember we do tons and tons yeah. for bt sport just endlessly dkny but. bt sport volvo nissan turkish airlines most of the problems with studio monitoring are to do with the room acoustics being really poor <laughs> also like weird monitor placement and then maybe it like not being decoupled from if it's on a desk or something like that when it starts playing bass and the whole desk starts vibrating in there you really have no idea what, what's going on in the low end i remember like hearing adams on a shoot out with a bunch of other speakers i think it was only like the a7s and then there's a studio in manchester called blueprint studios where they've got uh like the older versions of, of these set up and yeah i just remember being being blown away. They had like big Genelec main monitors in the walls and they never use them, they just use the other. After hearing these, we were like, I can't imagine how any speaker which is 10 times the cost could be anywhere near 10 times as good. Like it's just not gonna happen. Like these solved all of the issues that we could ever want. We realized that we started panning before that. Was, <laughs> things were kind of like either in the middle or left or right. And I think our stick stereo feel just completely opened up and like whoa if I pan something like five to the right it's like it's moved a huge amount here and I can really hear the difference between something which is just panned to the right and something which is in the middle and then you start placing things in this 3D space that you, you never would have done before getting these speakers it's, I mean whatever they've done it works <laughs> <laughs> for us the idea of getting involved with a company like Adam in a product that's, that's this new development of where it's going. It kind of felt the right place to be rather than trying to invest in a sort of much larger, older format. We've also found that we EQ so much less. We used to have we used to have three different sets of monitors set up. So you'd be like, okay, does it sound good on this? And then play it on the next set. Now we just have the one set. Like we don't have a need for different types of monitors because I know that if it sounds good in this room, it's gonna sound good everywhere. <laughs>